everybody and welcome back to our ah, Stardew Valley playthrough. I mean, okay, I'm kind of here and uh, Loki's here with me. <laughs> Being the pain that he always is. It's been a long ass week. I'm tired. I know you can tell I'm wearing no makeup, but I never do for these chill streams. So anyway... It's time to dive straight in. So hopefully this one will work better than last time. We're not going to end up skipping a day, but uh, you'll know when you watch the video. <laughs> so let's dive straight in and see what we can do today. If there's any new quests or anything like that we can do. Let's go. Uh, so already, whoops, I forgot to put my headset on. That's a wonderful start to our day. Um, and we're already low on energy, which is awful. Uh, we made a mistake. We made a mistake. Oh. Yeah, brilliant. You give us that little um, advertisement there for something that we can't use. Unfortunately, because we are low on energy, it does mean that this day is probably going to be a really short day. Am I bothered by this? I don't know. Are you bothered by this? Uh, it, as I said, it's been a... Hey, you know, you've got your, your watering stuff the wrong, wrong way around, my love. Sweetie, <laughs> child of mine. Um, I mean, it gives us some chance to explore, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's just been a really, really long week. Uh, I'm really thankful that I managed to get the housework done, but the only reason that I managed to do that was because I took most of the day off. Uh, most of the week off, sorry. Nothing wants to work. Excuse me. I took most of my day off, uh, day, week off from streaming, which is like normally where all of my footage comes from because yeah, let, let's be brutally honest. I like to spend some time um, streaming. It's, uh, I don't like to, to, it's one of those things I was always told work smarter, not harder. It never quite works the way I want it to, but I find I don't have as much time as I used to. So when I stream, I try and turn that stream into extra content. Whether or not you think that's like cheesy or a bad idea or a good idea is a completely different matter. But I also don't like to watch people's full streams. I, cause sometimes I just wander around like myself cause I'm a dumbass, <laughs> wander around for hours we need to catch some sardines okay brilliant happy to do that for you dude um and because of that yeah i hello oh we've met someone new yay phew <laughs> Loki is so adoring isn't he um where was I? Yeah, okay, so yeah, because I don't get a lot of time, I like to try and edit things down, make sure that I'm not boring people by like spending half an hour to an hour just trying to search the same place that I always do. Uh, so yeah, that's that's what's happened this week, sweetie. Oh, right, so we got to catch some sardines. I never end up talking about Stardew Valley as much as I really should, so I apologise about that for those of you who are like, why, oh, what? Stardew Valley for Stardew Valley content. Oh, we got a herring. We didn't need a herring. We need sardines. I'm pretty sure this is where we get sardines from, right? Am I wrong? I think I'm not wrong. It's been a while. Whew. So yeah, I have a lot of plans. Um, so I know it's only August, or by the time you probably watch this, it's early September. Um, but I am already making plans for the October cosplay of the month and videos for October. So this month, uh, this year, i am kind of gone back into my Japanese horror kind of phase that I was in in the early 2000s, which is, you know, interesting uh, is one way to put it. Sorry about that. I received a text from a parental unit. Uh, what I was saying was, I'm going to do some uh, film reviews of films I've never watched, uh, but some of them are quite early on, and um, I'm going to do, I've got um, the cosplay this year, I'm kind of going to focus on the Project Zero series. Now I have really, really been enjoying playing the Fatal Frame Maiden of Blackwater, like it has been amazing and has rekindled my love for the Fatal Frame series. Loki's, like... 
knocking the microphone out of the way. Loki, I am fishing. I can't. No. Why, Loki? I adore you, but why? Oh, Lord. Guys, I will fix the microphone in a second. I promise. I'm trying to catch this fish. No, Loki. Why do you have to make everything difficult? Ah. That was a flounder. That was not at all anything we wanted. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but you need to get down. No. <laughs> poor, poor cute boy making a load of fuss for no apparent reason. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, what, where was I? I've been really enjoying Fatal Frame Black, uh, Made in Blackwater, and I've decided that I want to make the Priestess cosplay as much as I want to do on a, a Sarah um, Osei Kurosawa. Uh, the only reason I know her name is I've been watching way too much stuff over the years, and I mean years. I, when, uh, Made in Blackwater first came out 2015, I think it was, on the Wii and uh, on the Wii U. I um, I researched it because I, I I didn't see the point in getting a Wii U. It was the only game that I was interested in on the Wii U, and it seemed kind of pointless picking it up if it was the only game. Um, so yeah, I was kind of like, um, I'm gonna research it. So I know that her the ba main bad guy's name is Osei Kurosawa. Um, something really interesting that I didn't know was the word Kurosawa is kind of like related to, I can't remember the exact wording, I was learning Japanese a while ago but that leads into so many other topics, um, of, um, like, a swamp, a dark swamp, and swamps being related to the afterlife, and there's so many different Kurosawas within the, um, the Fatal Frame series because of like the meaning of the word Kurosawa. I thought that was so interesting, so cool. Um, but anyway, I know about Osei Kurosawa and I know that she's like the character, the main bad villain and I, I love her costume. She's essentially wearing a black version of a wedding kimono because of the Yukon and if you don't know what Yukon is, it's essentially ghost marriage and in Japan. Um, I don't know if it's just for the game, I'd have to research this a bit more but I like the idea, it's kind of cool. You can marry the dead. Um, and now that sounds really weird to a Western mindset, but the fact that you can, like, it helps you to um, ease the passing of the dead, or if they're being used for ritual purposes, it, it makes it easier for them to carry their burden. Um, and it's, yeah, that that's enough. But she she was dressed in her wedding garb when she was put into her ritual casket. Again, it would be a complete other video if I went into how that works and all that kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, there's that. Um, but she, I would love to make that costume, but I do not have the materials available nor the money to make that the way that it would, you know, deserve to give it. Um, Oh, I can't think of the word credit. Um, so I'm going to settle. I say settle. I'm going to be making a cosplay for October, which is one of the Maidens of Darkwater. So the Mikomori Shrine Maidens. Um, and I'm really looking forward to it, but I have had to do so much research and it's been really interesting learning about how to make Hakuma and the ritual kimono that they typically wear uh, throughout the game. It's very interesting, very, very different from what I'm used to when it comes to kimono. Now, I do actually own a kimono, um, I just don't have the obi belt that goes with it. So that is something that I need to look at, like, Come on, come on, come on. Yes. I'm not losing both of you. <laughs> come on, fishy. Yeah, so that's going to be like something that I am doing. I tried to do it with the Huntress last year, but I lost because I got so sick last year. Like this um, is about the time last year where everything started going horribly wrong and I got very sick. So I didn't. Uh, I was going to do the Huntress for Dead by Daylight because I absolutely love Dead by Daylight. I Well, I love the theory behind Dead by Daylight. I'm terrible at actually playing the game. 
Um, but the Huntress is one of my favourite characters. The Huntress and Idiris, the plague. Um, the artist looks really interesting to me, but I'm still not 100% sold on her as a character. So, yeah. Um, it, it's, it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I've rambled on about nothing in particular. So, yeah. We're going to go um, very quickly run around and try and see if there's anything for us to gather today. Because, um... Obviously there has been very little for us to actually do today and we were already low on energy because of how late I stayed up last night, but we have a good amount of energy. Uh, so, not energy, money. So we, when the spring festival happens, we should be able to afford some strawberries and save some of those for use in the uh, community, the community building. I have never ever worked for Jojo and as much as I know that there's an achievement that I need to work for Jodo to do, I don't think, like that, I think that'll be the last thing I ever do on any Stardew Valley game. Like, I'll be like, hmm, okay. There's not a lot going on for foraging today. We are really low on our foraging. Um, there is barely anything out and about, so we're probably gonna have to end up trying to use some fish um, I mean, we can put something in the chest, which, like, my aim is always to put at least one thing in the chest every day. Uh, but we've managed to do a quest, and we've managed to, like, talk to people, which is always the most important part, so, you know. It's a shame I haven't got a silo already. I could be making so much um, fodder ready for the first season. And I'm really hoping that very soon we get something happen so we can have some like crops to give away for the first time. Oh, we do have, we, we're gonna, oh shit. I forgot to empty our inventory like a, like a dumbass. I'm such a dumbass. I'm so sorry guys. So we need to keep the copper. So we're going to keep the copper. I don't think we're going to keep... No. Uh, the... The rest. I, I know it's not going to be worth a huge amount. But let's, let's get rid of that. Right. Okay. We've got... A horseradish, and I knew we had a horseradish and a leek. So let's see if we've got anything else up in this top area. I don't think we're probably going to, but that's fine. It's always good to double check. Oh yes, we do. We found a horseradish. Nice. So at least it's going to be something we can add to the foraging pile. Hey guys. I love the way they kind of dance on a dime. So I do want to get us... So unfortunately because of the way I played my first ever Stardew Valley game, I never got any cows or chickens or anything like that going. Like it took me to at least a good portion through like year three to get it done. I want to get through that quicker so um it's gonna take a while i'm aware it's not gonna be perfect but i wanna i want to get us more kind of where we need to be better than we were kind of thing right so, we're getting dark, it's getting dark, we are running out of energy, let's just put some of this stuff in there, we're going to keep this stuff, I think it has a use, and I know it's really early technically, but we are very much out of energy, so let's go to bed and see how we did, let's, let's do this, let's see how we did, oh we leveled up, fishing has become easier and we can now make bait even better. Okay, brilliant. Uh, I should probably actually buy some more. Mm. 
I don't think I should buy some more seeds actually because the strawberry seeds are going to be available very soon and we need those strawberry seeds. So once again, thank you so, so much for watching. I do hope that you've enjoyed this. I do hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody. See you later. Take care. Have fun and goodbye. That's your little heart. <laughs>